Your eyesight is probably not something you think much about until you're squinting at your computer monitor or find yourself sitting in the optometrist's chair for a checkup. But what if one day you simply lost your ability to see? That's what happens to someone who suffers from corneal blindness caused by disease, injury, or infection. According to the iBank Association of America, cornea transplantation is the most common transplant operation performed in the United States. Now, a leading-edge procedure performed by IQ Vision Care is helping cornea transplant patients see better, faster. You just might have to see it to believe it. And if seeing is believing, Kingsburg resident Celia Woolley knows what it's like to lose her eyesight. It was a progressive thing. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse. It's terrible when you can't see. My sister went blind, so it was kind of scary for a little bit <laughs> to think that I might be going blind too. During that difficult time, Celia had to rely on Ted, her husband of 59 years. Ted was good to help with reading recipes and doing all the reading I needed to be read. Then Celia went to see her eye doctor and learned that she needed cornea transplant surgery. When they realized that my cornea was gone, they sent me to Dr. Walker. And he removed the cornea and then they put in a new cornea. The cornea is often called the window of the eye. When light strikes the cornea, it bends it onto the lens. The lens then focuses the light onto the retina, and that starts the translation of light into vision. A cornea transplant is a surgical procedure which replaces a disc-shaped portion of an impaired cornea with a piece of a healthy donor cornea. I'd like to do a little bit more testing, and um, hopefully we can let you know here shortly what's going on exactly. Dr. Michael Walker, LASIK cornea and cataract specialist at IQ Vision Care in Fresno, is the first ophthalmologist in the Central Valley to use a new procedure called intralace-enabled keratoplasty. It's a fancy way of saying we use the laser to cut tissue. The old traditional way of doing corneal transplantation uses basically steel blades shaped in a round circle basically that we use to cut donor tissue and to make a cut in the, the patient's eye. According to Dr. Walker, prior to the procedure, people with corneal disease see the world very differently. The best analogy is looking through a fishbowl, like being underwater, but not even as clear as diving into your swimming pool and opening your eyes. Dr. Walker says that the ability to cut tissue deep enough is a new development in laser-assisted corneal transplantation. And this is our intralace laser here at IQ. The intralace laser, which is a specialized laser typically used for making LASIK flaps, helps him do this precisely. So now instead of an incision being a perfectly vertical cylinder, I can make it shaped like a zigzag pattern to where the cornea sits down in the recipient bed, almost plugs in place. He says there are several other benefits to laser-assisted corneal transplantation as well. The healing is much stronger and much quicker. So I can take sutures out typically on the order of two to three months, whereas in a traditional transplant it may be a year or more before I can do that. So the patients end up typically seeing better, faster with that procedure, with an added benefit that we think those wounds are actually quite a bit stronger. It's really life-changing for patients that have become kind of a prisoner to their blindness. Since Celia's corneal transplant, she says she can see everything. It's good enough to read the newspaper and everything else. In fact, is if I cover the other eye, I can see better with just the one eye than with two now. Celia's sight no longer hangs by a thread. She's grateful to Dr. Walker for that and can't wait to get back to doing the things she used to do. Well, I hope to sew again for one thing and drive again. Now that Celia is once again enjoying the simple things in life, she's telling everyone she knows not to let a little discomfort get in the way of rediscovering the world again. It's worth it to have it done, even if you would have a little pain and inconvenience for a while, it's definitely worth it. You can see again, and until you can't see, you don't appreciate what it is to have an eye. 
An eye-opening experience indeed, especially for those who struggle with cornea problems. Dr. Walker also says that it's very important to be evaluated by a doctor if you are experiencing any kind of visual change. Make an appointment to find out what's going on and explore your options.